Good evening, I hope you're all having a good Ash Wednesday. It's now 7.30 time and we're on February the 17th. I'm going to be sharing daily meditations with the Holy Spirit. Excuse me a minute, my nose is tickling me. Itching, tickling. Sorry about that. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The reading is from John 3, verse 8. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it will, where it goes. The reflection. In biblical languages, the word for spirit is the same as the word for wind. Jesus was telling Nicodemus that we cannot control the action of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit often surprises us in ways that we would never have expected sometimes moving peacefully and other times forcefully. The prayer Surprise me, Spirit of God. May I always be open to your promptings wherever they may lead me. Amen. Will they lead me <laughs> in all sorts of places to do all sorts of things that I hadn't planned to do? and I'm going to share some that I've, I've typed up today. They're called aspirations and short prayers. They're not all meant to be said and prayed the way I'm going to share them with you. They're meant to be, you have a little prayer book with them in. To you be praise, to you be glory, to you be thanksgiving through endless ages. O Blessed Trinity. That was number one. Number two. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Number three. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, the heavens and the earth are full of your glory. Number four. To the King of Ages, immortal, and invisible to God alone the honor and glory forever and ever number five may the most just most high and most lovable will of God be done in all things be praised and worshipped forever number six my God and my all. Number seven. My God, make us to be one of mind in the truth and of one heart in charity. Number eight. My God, I love you. Number nine. Lord, I am my own enemy when I see my peace apart from you. Number ten, guard me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Psalm 16 verse 8. Number eleven, teach me, O Lord, to do your will. For you are my God. Number twelve. Into your hands I commend my spirit. 
from Psalm 30. Number 13. O oh my soul, I love the Lord that loves you from eternity. Number 14. O oh God, make haste to my rescue. Lord, come to my aid. Psalm 69. Number 15, I'll make this the last one. No, I might make 16, I've just noticed it. Number 15 first. From all dangers, deliver us, O Lord. O Lord, grant us this day to keep us without sin. And the final one for today, number 16. From all sin, deliver us, O Lord. Amen. I found them today in my little prayer book and I thought they were too good not to share. So thank you very much for listening. God bless you and I send you the healing and God's peace and abundance and be happy and joyful in the Lord always. And remember we're now in Lent and we should try to do some more fasting and praying. Fasting doesn't have to be food. It can be internet, it can be social media, it can be television, as I call it. It can be anything that distracts you from maybe spending a little time with the Lord. Well, I'm not the best person in the world to suggest what to do. 